Shalom and welcome to Pimentel Torah. This year is entitled, May One Daven for a Loved One to Pass Away. A delicate, delicate topic. Of course, all whole nights everyone else talks to their rub about it. But in terms of just a general overview of the sugya, of course, things relative, friend, whoever may be, is in the hospital, dying, there's no hope, suffering. Can you just say, Hashem, please end this already? So of Moshe Feinstein in Igrat Moshe, Hoshen Mishpat, Chelik Bet, Siman Ayin Gimel, he quotes the Gemara to vote, Kufdalid, story of Yudanasi, end of the days for him. The rabbis are davening for Rafur Shleim, Rafur Shleim, please Hashem, help him, keep him alive, heal him. And the maid servant that's there <clears throat> says, it's over. Hashem, just take him away, it's too much pain. And the story goes, she took something and disturbed them, stopped them, broke a pot, and then they <clears throat> was stunned by what went on, and they stopped davening, and that's the moment he died. So is it a good thing she did? Not a good thing? Don't run. And the Dara, that man, learns from there, no, it was good what that she did, because there was no life anymore, just pain. So Rav Moshe says, based on the Ron, how he learned the Gmurk Subos, that it was a good thing that she did. What do we learn from here? <laughs> Excuse me. That if <clears throat> there's no hope, and it's just a life of suffering, no cure, Hashem is not sending any miraculous cure, then you have every right to end, to ask Hashem. We can end it. We can ask Hashem to end the person's life. Amazing Jew from Rav Moshe based on the Dharan and the Dharan, which is based on the Gemara Ketuvah. Shalom, Surah Tavah.